If you want insane deals on legit PC keys from great developers, use my fanatical link down below and start saving yourself some money. I got an email the other day from Gray Zone Warfare. It, it was titled Gray Zone Warfare Night Ops is coming. In this email, they said that they're excited to announce that they've sold over a million units of the game, which is absolutely fantastic. They were at Gamescom this year where they were revealing exclusive B-roll footage, which you guys are seeing now, of their day-night cycle. And you guys can see, again, I, I don't think this is up for any dispute. The game looks fucking gorgeous. The Night Ops gameplay looks fucking awesome. The night vision goggles, although I'm a fan of full screen night vision, I just think it's a much better gameplay feel. I get why they're trying to do it more realistic. They've absolutely nailed the flashlight against the darkness of the forest. We also see some underground bunker shots as well. It looks fucking awesome. Again, no dispute, Gray Zone Warfare, I think is one of the best looking FPSs on the market right now. The problem is, is it runs like dog shit for like 90% of their player base, which is why you see the player numbers struggling to reach over 2,000 players at any given time. When this game launched four months ago and peaked at 72,000, almost 75,000 people, and they're struggling to maintain it simply because, I mean, there's a lot of reasons. I think performance is a huge one. And, and here's the thing, this update that's coming out soon, again, I, I don't think we have a date on it yet, they are implementing a lot of feedback that was you know, given to them from the community, including things like addressing the aimbot AI, reducing LZ wait times, rebalancing the economy, rebalancing player progression, adding an ADS toggle option, adding high value loot that's also going to be available in this Night Ops update, and plenty more features apparently are going to be discussed in future devlogs. Now, in terms of rebalancing player progression in the economy, what does that mean for us? We have a wipe. So with this update, they are starting fresh with some much needed changes and improvements. Quests have been slightly revamped, vendor stock will be updated, and the economy is going to be rebalanced. Player progression will be adjusted, which means all of these things that we were watching people do like guides for, like all of the quests, where to do this, where to do, all of that shit is changing now. I don't know how much of it, like, is it going to be like a Tarkov wipe where, like, we still know where the pocket watch is? It feels like it's going to be that, but it does give them an opportunity to balance things and change things to make that progression feel better. So this is great. They're also bringing in a new weapon, the MP5, which you guys can see here, kitted with a drum mag, and it looks fucking awesome. Again, visually, this game looks amazing. I also know that optimization isn't going to be something where we show up for an update and everything is just optimized. It's an iterative process. As they're bringing in more features, it might break other features. It might need refactoring. They might learn things while they bring in a new feature that maybe can they can apply to another mechanic that they worked on before that needs refactoring. And all of these things are happening in tandem while trying to get the performance running smooth. And I, I just think a lot of people were struggling early on to run this game at a solid frame rate, especially especially in a game mode where like every move you make matters. Like the, literally the, the fucking phrase of their game is every move matters. But if you're moving at fucking 25 FPS, it's gonna be pretty tough. So I, I definitely wanna keep in touch with this game, cover the updates and wait until we can get to a point where like, damn, this game is actually running very, very well on mid tier machines. I don't know when we're gonna get there, but I will keep you guys up to date. They're adding new environmental points of interest to the map as well, as well as dynamic locations. So points of interest add varieties, making each place feel unique and unpredictable. I'm reading this off the press release that they sent us. Again, not a lot of detail here. They definitely want to open this up in future devlogs. They're basically giving a bunch of content creators a preview, and they gave it to us like a day before the presentation happened on Friday, and I'm just getting around to it now. The new update sounds awesome. I'm very excited to try out this, this night ops gameplay and see how it plays. I really, really hope that this brings back at least a solid amount of players. I hope the performance is better. I don't even want to play the game as of right now. I'm just, I'm waiting for update 0.2 to jump back in and give you guys my thoughts. But I feel like if we have a bunch of information here, talk about where the developers are moving in the near future. Again, I'm very anxious to see when this update is coming out. I don't believe we have a date on it yet, but I'll let you guys know as soon as we do.
If you guys aren't following me on social media, please make sure you're connected on X or Twitter or whatever. Make sure you guys are subscribed to not only this channel, but my second channel as well. Those are my two main platforms, YouTube and Twitter, for news and, and covering updates and just discussing video games. So if you guys are on those platforms, make sure you give me a follow. And yeah, Grey Zone Warfare definitely has a long way to go. It's a fantastic game with great visuals that just needs a lot of fucking work under the hood and it looks like the developers are starting to get there. This is their first major update, a first wipe for everybody. I'm very excited to see where this game goes in the near future. I think next year is going to be a huge fucking year for this game. We just got to wait and get there. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you still on the Gray Zone Warfare train? Are you waiting for updates? Do you give a fuck? Let's have a conversation down below. Leave a comment while you're down there. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content just like this again we got a little preview don't have a lot of information it's a lot of words not a lot of action as of yet but in the future devlogs i'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of this stuff in depth my name is big fry thank you guys for watching shout out to the 340 what are we at 342,000 subscribers on this channel i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one